greetings from inside the loud, noisy Clatchet Hut at Fredericktown Homestead. Um, I'm working on the cribbing for the um, tote that'll take my uh, water rainwater collection system. And I was thinking, well, it would be nice if they were oiled. And, uh, and then I was thinking, well, if I want to oil them, it would be nice if they were plain. And as I was cleaning them, I was thinking, it would be nice if all the ends were nicely routered. And all the sides were nicely routed. So everything was smooth. So that uh, taking the stain would be nice and easy. So uh, that's what I did. I've got... Uh, I've got three 48s and three 40s here. And that leaves me with three uh, little blocks and three bigger blocks, all nicely routered, planed. And uh, aren't these nice blocks? And I like that. that uh, that's pleasing to me, is uh, to have a waste product that looks quite so nice as that. I got three of them, so I need one each of each of them uh, yet to do. I got just enough time to do that before I go on a run here. I got uh, I have to clean it and uh, cut it to length and router it. Two of them, one forty-eight and one forty. And then my next step will be to come in one inch and um, using the new skill saw that I got last night for $15. This is a $15, it's been under the router, so it's got some sawdust on it. But uh, nice to walk and the uh, uh, table on it adjusts so that you can just do, just do a, smaller amount. Uh, my other one, my porta cable uh, skill saw uh, doesn't, uh, the table doesn't adjust, it's frozen. But this one is all operative. It's uh, covered with sawdust, but $15 with a new blade and um, a good table. So I'm going to go down, I think, uh, why not five eighths of an inch would be good. I can go down five eighths of an inch and uh, just the uh, width of one of these and uh, use the skill saw to do the heavy work and then a chisel to clean it up. And that way these will fit right into one another. The top ones, of course, don't need to be uh, notched like that. but. Uh, that's my idea for these. I've got the other two sitting out there by the greenhouse. Those are the last two. They come as uh, 54 long. So they'll have to be cut to length. And then, um, but I plane them first so that the whole piece is plain. And then all I got to do is just round a little box. And, uh, I'm having fun this morning. I'm kind of against the clock here because uh, I got to run. I got to go for it at noon. And, uh, but hey, what the hell? Oh, we'll get it done. All right, if you'd like to join me here at the Frederick Child Homestead, you probably wouldn't today. It's cold and windy and quite miserable outside. But in the shop, it's comfortable. If uh, you like playing with wood, hey, if you like stacking wood, um, there's always more wood to be stacked. I got, uh, we got this pile started, but we got a stack of the rest of this, and then I got that much again up at the mill, all bought and paid for. But isn't that a pretty stack of wood? Yeah, if you like stacking wood, um, you'll have to push me aside because I get some stacking done. But, uh, 
That's the way that we dry the wood so that it's down to the recommended moisture so that you can do anything with it. Still not sure what we're going to do with all this wood, but it's nice to have. All right, well, the cans. i got to get two more cans done. I better get on it. If you'd like to be a part of the Fredericktown Homestead, we got a position open for a family, a couple, or just the right individual. And uh, I live here. You'll be sharing a house with me. The rent's $500. I'll pay half. Uh, you can't beat that with a stick, I don't think. Um, we've got more property than you can shake a stick at. Uh, we got a pond site. We got a garden that's all tilled and planted to cover crop and peas and garlic. But there's lots of garden space, and uh, we're looking to do raise our own food. That's the goal of this place. Raise our own food. That's what homesteading is to me. Raise your own food. So, uh, this uh, rainwater collection system is all part of that. This will be used for irrigation. It's just nice to collect rainwater. It's a blessing from God. Why not use it? So, uh, and then you've got all these little blocks that the skinner can play with. All right, if you want to get a hold of me, my email is jbdemilker at gmail.com. God bless.